Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Unsuccessful candidates under the banner of Nurses of Meghalaya, NOM, on Tuesday demanded the state government to institute an independent judicial inquiry into the alleged irregularities and anomalies in the recently declared results for the staff nurse and ANM examinations. The nurses also recalled the recent memorandum submitted and the meetings held on July 19 and July 24 in the presence of Minister in Charge of Health, further pointing out the alleged multiple anomalies in the results of the recruitment examinations held on September 21. The nurses in the letter stated, firstly, 13 questions were asked out of the given syllabus. In the set A booklet, question numbers 41 and 52 and 60 were not part and parcel of the given syllabus. The recent destruction in Garu Hills is unprecedented and none has been left untouched. While Chief Minister Kondrat K. Sangma on Tuesday toured and met flood and landslide affected people in West Garu Hills, comforting and assuring them support, he was suddenly drawn to a large group of residents at Choi Pani in Dalu, the non-Indigenous residents of Garu Hills. While the Indigenous people have been given gratuitous relief and support by the government, these people complain that they are yet to receive any support from the government to the point that the officials were not even recording their names. Some of the residents said they were denied assistance in the absence of a job card or not being registered under the Village Employment Council. The Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, is officially set to take over 41 online stock trading fraud cases in Assam following a Gazette notification published by the central government on Tuesday. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma discloses development on his ex-handle, confirming the transfer of the cases from the state's Crime Investigation Department, or CID, which has already arrested more than 58 individuals in connection with the scam. The decision to hand the investigation over to the CBI was approved by the Assam State Cabinet on September 13. The CID had been investigating the cases and making significant arrests before the state requested the CBI's involvement to ensure a more comprehensive and fair investigation. Four Cookie organizations, Cookie National Assembly, KNA, Cookie Human Rights Forum, KHRF, Cookie Gao Buras Association, KGBA, and Cookie Students Organization, KSO, have strongly refuted allegations that Cookie families have fled from Manipur and settled in Karbi Anglong Assam. In a joint statement on Tuesday, the organizations called the claims baseless and far from the truth. The response came after the Karbi Lammet Amai, KLA, a Karbi literary body, submitted a memorandum to Tuliram Ronghang, the chief executive member of the Karbi Anglong Autonomous Council, KAAC, alleging that some Kuki families from Manipur had entered the Karbi Anglong district and settled in areas like Singhasong and Khonbamon Hills following the ethnic violence in Manipur. Members of the CITU State Centre staged a protest near Megdud Bhavan, Pan Bazar in Guwahati, on Tuesday against the atrocities and workers at the Korean multinational Samsung Electronics Company in Sri Parembadur, Tamil Nadu. The protesters shouted slogans like Stop the harassment of workers, Stop torturing workers for unionization, and No if, no but, union is a must. Addressing the protesters, CITU State General Secretary Tapan Sharma said that the legal rights of workers are being cut every day under the patronage of the BJP government at the centre. The right to wages, the right to job security and the right to pensions are severely affected today. The protests against Samsung Electronics escalated as company authorities began to target the union leadership. In a major drug haul, Assam Rifles on Tuesday seized huge quantities of drugs and arrested three drug peddlers in two separate operations in Mizoram's Champai district. According to sources, drug value in international market cost rupees 62 crore. Acting on a tip-off, the paramilitary force troops conducted an operation in the Zote area and seized 284.43 grams of heroin, worth Rs 1.99 crore. One person was arrested on the spot. In the second operation at the Melbuk area, the paramilitary personnel seized over 2 lakh methamphetamine tablets valued at Rs 60 crore and arrested two drug smugglers. According to sources, three drug peddlers along with the seized drugs were handed over to the police for taking further legal actions. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet